mymediahelper.com. And this time I'm going to talk about Loom and the fact that it looks like on September 19th, which is a couple days from now, it's the 17th now, uh, upcoming changes to Loom, starter, uh, starter free plan starting September 19th of 2023. You will no longer be able to download videos. So I won't be able to download these videos anymore to keep access um, upgrade today, which you can certainly do. Uh, let's see what the upgrade is for. So you can upgrade the eight bucks, uh, looks like eight bucks a month build annually. So, um, so I won't use loom anymore because I used it cause it was, um, it was a free service and it, it served my purposes. I got to, you get to see my pretty face and then you get to see my screen. <laughs> That's the reason I, I use loom in the first place and I can't fault them for wanting to make make money obviously um you know it's not it's not a charity uh, businesses are not a charity most often um so i look for for other means because i'm not exactly um i'm not loaded um i'm not rich so i'll save any money uh, any place uh, i can so i can use stream it serves the same purpose microsoft stream so if you have uh, a microsoft office um license or i i um get it each month it's like six dollars and 40 cents or something like that after taxes um and to me that's worth it because i use everything and anything and it's all on the cloud and it's all there whenever i want it so i know it doesn't seem like a lot of money to you folks um but you know it adds up streaming services uh, paying for websites, then gas and car payments, <laughs> it all adds up. So um, this particular video is to look for five other um, Loom-like-esque sites that I can use and you can use uh, for recording your videos. So we're going to find five sites and check them out and see how they work. So the first one we're going to talk about is Screen Rec. Now, Screen Rec is um, you actually have to download and install uh, the program on your computer. So as you can see, it is a free download. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just go to we'll install this bad boy. And just make sure when you do these programs, sometimes they try to sneak in other programs and they ask you if you want to install uh, doesn't look like that's the case in this in this particular instance. I do believe I've used the mobile version of this. Um, and that might even be the one that I have on my phone. All right, so we'll run run um, we'll run screen rant or screen screen rant screen wreck. Okay, so we hit all S. So hit all S. And then you can just drag. This is what's cool about this as opposed to Loom is you can just, I don't have to get like all this um, address stuff in there. I can just drag here. All right, and then um, and then you just hit record. I don't know if these are both gonna record. It'll be weird. <laughs> okay, so uh, go to settings. And um, so you can pick what's going on as far as your camera. Well, it's running now, so I can't pick my camera. So that's not the camera I'd be running. Um, that's my microphone. So you just, you would hit this down. I can't do it right now. Um, let's stop this from recording. So we'll just stop. Okay, and there's, there's the recording that I did. And then you can go into settings at this point, I do believe. And it, oh, okay. So you have to hit this to unlock it and then do this. I'm curious to know if it will record me recording with Loom. <laughs> Just keep in mind with the uh, screen rack and really any program that I'm gonna discuss here and any program that utilizes your camera in the future, that only one program is gonna be able to utilize that, that camera. So you didn't see my head in screen rack, but you can use it. So it would look just like this. It would have me over here or wherever you place me, and then you would have the background screen, just like Loom. I just want you to um, be advised of that, that it works the same way. There's a couple of extensions I like to bring to your attention. So we've got this um, free screen recorder for Chrome. So it is a Chrome product. So we'll just add that to Chrome. Now, keep in mind, this particular one just records the screen. It does not record you. And then if you didn't know, you can hit on this puzzle piece and go down and um, pin that to the top of your browser. And then um, you have some options here. Then if you wanna record, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, the whole screen, an active tab or apps, 
So um, it works pretty good. Let's see if I can do it while I'm doing Loom at the same time. We'll go whole screen. So I do believe we're recording both. <laughs> we'll see what, let's see what happens with mine. Yeah, OK. And then uh, if you go here, you can stop recording. And then there you go. And recorded the screen. And then you just save as. And then it will end up in your downloads. There it is right there. All right. And then there's another one. Get rid of that. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this. If you want to remove it from Chrome, you just uh, right click, hit remove. OK. And that removes that extension. OK, there's another one, this uh, screen recorder. So this will record both your screen and put your put yourself in there, a little bubble like this. So you'll be able to do that with this one. So we'll add this one to Chrome, add extension. And again, if you just go to this is screen, screen record. There you go, right there. You can pin it. And then screen recorder, you got options video, audio. So I want to use my uh, camera and camera resolution, 1080. Let's see my audio is using the correct audio. Okay. All right. And then I will, so I can uh, screen and camera or only screen or only camera, just like Loom. So I hit that. Um, recording a microphone, start recording. Okay, and then you can decide what you want to record, a tab, a window, or, all right. So again, it's not going to show me because I already have that going. This loom is already controlling my camera, so it's not going to let me control both at the same time. But uh, you will be able to put your little self in there. Um, I even did a video to show you just to prove that I did that. So there you are right down there. Maybe I am right down there. Maybe I just didn't see me. Oop, hang on a second. All right, let's pause that. Let's go back. Oh, okay, no, it's not doing it. Okay, I was just checking to see if it was down there. So as you see, your little square down there once you use it, and you can do the screen at the same time. So those are two plugins you can use. Oh, yeah, there's this um, recorded by if you're going to have that. On your video so if you're editing if you obviously if you want to get that out of there you just stretch the video a little more so that's off of there so keep that in mind that that's uh up there for this uh, particular free copy of this free uh plugin that you use for recording so the next one i want to draw your attention to is this uh screen pal so it seems okay i mean you can save the video um oh, sorry about that you can save the video to your computer i'll show you what it comes out to be like it seems like ghosty, I think, because there's a filter behind it. And I was just uh, making myself bigger here. And when I was recording, it seemed very slow when I was recording it. And then when I played it back, it played back just fine. So um, this is one that I, I need to play around with more. Um, I'm drawing it to your attention because it does everything that Loom does. It does do just screen. It does do just um, video. And it does both like we're doing right now, the screen and me. Seems to work OK. Um, it's a little lagging uh, when you're, when you're filming. So it's a little offsetting, but like I said, when you play it back, it plays back fine. So I don't know what the deal is with that. Maybe you want to play around with it as well, but I bring it to your attention because it is free and, um, it seems to work. It seems to work pretty good. So, and you can save it to your, um, your desktop or your laptop. So the last one that I found that was pretty good is uh, this awesome chat GPT screenshot and screen recorder. This is another uh, Chrome extension. So I tried this one out as well. So we'll just add extension. And there it is. There it is right there. And then, of course, hit the puzzle piece. And we'll have to find it. Awesome. There it is right there. Just pin it. All right. And then um, if we hit it here. So same deal, desktop, camera only. We're going to do desktop. Um, we want the camera on. So I'm not sure if it'll show the camera on if I'm... Yeah, see, once again, it won't show because I'm showing here. But it does work. Um, it will come on. So there's my other recording. 
So if we go back and then we start recording and then got it and then, oh, there it is. I am on. Oh, okay. Oh, huh. that's weird. I didn't think it could do that. I didn't think it could. Oh, <laughs> how are you doing down there? <laughs> All right. So there's recording there. And then we'll just stop. We hit it again. We hit stop. All right. And uploaded successfully. And then it's got to go through its um, processing stage. So that's a pretty good one. That one I will probably be using, I think. Um, it does everything I want it to do. There's no, there's no um, watermarks or anything. All right, let's got it, got it. There's three of me, oh my God. <laughs> there shouldn't be three of me, there shouldn't be two of me. There shouldn't even be one of me. All right, so that works pretty good. All right, I'm going to keep that one. I think that's the one I'm going to use, and I'm glad I found it. And I will, um, I will expand on this if if I've used it for a while. And uh, if, there's not a lot of features. The features are the same as Loom. Uh, all five of these are the same as Loom. Uh, I'll be able, I'll put an extra extension. I do believe in the in the notes in the description. Um, one I didn't cover here, but it's still an extension. Uh, it still works the same. And that's it. That's five alternatives to Loom that I found. I could keep going. I mean, I'm sure there's tons more of free online and extensions that you can use. Um, I negated any of the free trial ones. So if you had like a seven day free trial, a 30 day free trial, yeah, they might work great. But um, this video is about free screen recorders that you can use, uh, not paid ones. I can go back and I guess do those at some point if I want to. So I hope this was helpful. It was helpful for me to go to make my ass sit down and go through some of these to, to look at them and, and the features and how they work and everything. Uh, this last one is definitely the one I'm going to be using. So um, please subscribe to the channel uh, if you could, if you see this. And if this helped you, uh, please like this video because it does help the channel. I'm trying to get to that magical thousand to, to start monetizing. And then I'll do videos about monetizing. Um, and then please share and hit the bell for updates. All right, gals and guys, this was kind of fun to kind of go through and uh, see what type of recording software are out there. Uh, goodbye to Loom. I mean, they're still going to be there. They're just going to be a paid service. And, you know, if I made a lot of money, I would probably pay for it. But I'm I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll use an awesome screenshot. All right, gals and guys, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.